Hey guys, what's up? David Burns here, EAS Certified Master Beekeeper. And when you're getting started in beekeeping, some of the questions might be, should I start with a package or should I start with a nuke or a nucleus? And that's kind of a coin toss, really. Um, it may be more up to you and kind of what you want to do as far as your skills sets on beekeeping. What What is... Uh, what are options for you? Maybe you don't have any options for packages and so you're forced to find somebody that's selling nooks or maybe you don't have any options for packages. They're all sold out, but a buddy down the road has a, uh, he's selling nooks. So it's really a coin toss too, as far as which one is better. Um, of course, if you're uh, dealing with a nucleus hive, which is, if you don't know, it's four or five frames from an overwintered colony and the queen is already established. She has been laying for a little while. And those frames that you're getting have various amounts of brood in them. Eggs, larvae, pupa, some honey, some pollen. So you're getting five frames of a hive that's already running. No, inter no introduction of a queen. She's already in there laying. When you get a package, you're getting 10,000 bees and a queen that's not introduced yet to that package. And so at that point, you're going to have to introduce her uh, by putting a you know, she's in a cage. You got to put the cage in there. They have to eat through the candy and get acquainted with her. They, uh, if you're a new beekeeper, there's no drawn comb. There's nothing in the hive for them uh, to eat. So you have to feed them for a little while compared to a nucleus. They already have some food on board. Um, the, it gets more complicated because generally speaking, and many states that have programs that inspect colonies or inspect bees, uh, they have different laws. And for example, um, some states require, uh, most states require that packages uh, also be accompanied with a health certificate. Um, but almost all states are really concerned about the transportation from county to county or state to state of comb. And that's what you get into with the nucleus. You're not just uh, transferring bees around in a package, but now you're transferring comb, which could harbor uh, diseases. Uh, you could have things like American foul brood spores. You can have other things. Those are very contagious. European foul brood and American foul brood are contagious. You may have other problems that aren't contagious, but can be transferred you know, in the comb, such as other problems like chalk brood and you know, so you really have to know your nook provider to make sure that they are giving you uh, something that's clean or else you really need to make sure that you have a inspector in your area that will inspect that nucleus hive to make sure it's clean and doesn't have some sort of disease in it. Um, so those are two things to consider. Also, you may want to consider timing. I'm, I'm located in Illinois. I sell nucleuses and I sell packages. I can sell packages earlier because those packages are usually um, grown in warmer climates. Nobody in, in northern states can produce early packages. It's not a reality. You can't do it. Um, and But uh, we can produce uh, nucleus colonies of four or five frames. But again, that's going to be later. That's going to be toward the end of May. Generally, when our colonies become strong enough, we need to make splits. So the middle of the end of May, we also have to raise queens for those colonies. That's why the end of May is more of a reality. So in other words, you can get packages earlier because most packages come from the south. And if you want a nucleus uh, colony that's starting out, you're going to have to wait until northern providers can usually get those nucleus is made through splits. I think they're both equal in as far as how fast they start off. Uh, and what I mean by that is if you start a package at the end of April, then by June the 1st, it's going to equal what that nuke is when you started it at the end of May. <laughs> so you're going to have four or five frames the 1st of June either way. One is just an earlier um, start but they don't have any frames. They have to work hard to get five frames pulled out. If you get one in the late May, in a week, they look the same as a month old package. Does that makes sense. Again, you do have to make sure that when you get those, when you get a uh, nuke, that you got to make sure that it is clean. It doesn't have diseases 
not so much stuff to worry about with a package. Well, I hope this has been helpful for you to understand the differences between a package and a nuke, and then you can make your own decision, right? All right. Hey, one more thing before I go. I want to show you um, how it's important. If you've been using our Winter Bee Kind feeders uh, to feed your hive during the wintertime, these are so, so good for your bees in the wintertime. But now that it's getting warmer, actually tomorrow, I know YouTube videos can be viewed anytime, but when I'm filming this, tomorrow is actually the first day of spring, which means in Illinois, we're likely to have more snow <laughs> and cold weather. But hopefully not. Fingers crossed, you know. But anyway, I want to show you how I transition from my winter bee kinds over to the Burns Bees feeding systems. Both of these uh, feeding systems I created, invented, and they work, really work well, and customers have really enjoyed using them. And you can kind of see how I like to transition. Let's take a look.